Alright, hello again, this is Kyle Jackson, just checking in for Obviousness Part 2. So, um, I'll be going into mainly the YouTube videos that I watch, the Google searches, etc. Um, kind of getting a background on my search and obviousness uh, before I talked about what I got from the slides and lecture. Um, since I'm a three unit student, so this is my second YouTube video about obviousness. So. I watched a few videos from Patent Home. It's two patent attorneys talking about um, just obviousness, prior art, and what it takes to get a uh, a patent. So, what I learned from that was basically I got a better perspective on what obviousness was before. I thought it was uh, more of like, oh, could I think of that myself, or is this something that would appear clear based on um, something prior and an example they used in Patent Home was that uh, they actually used a pretty similar example to our professor where he delved into, oh, here's a table that has four legs, but then what if we position the four legs differently? Is that something patentable? Is that non-obvious? And it might even derive a new utility if you painted a different color because now it matches my curtains or what have you. Um, but in fact, that is non-obvious. I mean, that is obvious. I'm sorry. Um, so, based on those definitions, I also learned a lot that prior art is extremely important when it comes to uh, getting a patent because even though you might have designed some crazy new gadget, if they can piece that new idea together based off one, two, maybe even 20 um, previous patents in the patent office, then it is actually obvious and it's not something patentable even though you might not have seen, oh, it combined the microwave with a kitchen faucet or something, um, it's still um, obvious. So prior art is extremely important because that can be something that is published, it could be something, um, even code, just it could be a previous patent. So um, when these patent lawyers go in, they have to search all the previous uh, patents in that field. So, all told, I think obviousness is something highly related to prior art and something that um, is very interesting because of how much prior art there is and how difficult it is. It seems to me to actually patent something that is truly creative and non-obvious. Thank you.